Okay, well, welcome to Let's Talk Tech. I'm Thomas. I'm Alan. And, uh, Hi. yeah, hello. And this is our first, very first episode ever made of Let's Talk Tech, the only show in Wallingford ho uh, hosted by the WPA Cable 18 that will bring you your technology news. Yeah, that was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. So our first segment for today is we're going to be talking about the new Google Chrome OS that is not out yet, and there's no previews for it, but it's talked about, and Google says it's coming out. And it will so, be coming out uh, yeah. middle of 2010. Middle of 2010. Middle of 2010. They have no it will be, set date for it. Yes, it'll be coming out. And uh, they say it's a very interesting operating system. It's based on people who just go on the Internet, who just log on, just go on to uh, uh, Firefox or Google Chrome the web browser. Yeah, but that's what most people, that, see that's the thing, most people only use the web, but if people only use the web, how uh, there's other people also like to do th other things, like there's people that like to install programs, like games and, you know, uh, I don't know, Microsoft yeah, I don't, Word, Office. I don't know why you wouldn't want to install anything. I don't know why you just want to jump right to the internet. Yeah, I, I know. It's, that's what I don't get. Yeah, but maybe it'll, it'll let it you might install be games. Thing. Um, but then there's the whole issue of the exe files, which you can't well, you can't upload anyway. You can't. Yeah, if you can't upload an exe file, you can't upload it. Just like Linux, so you can't. Yeah, yeah. that's why it's based on the. Uh, well, it's based Google on Chrome Kennel is Linux. based on Kennel Linux, and uh, that's probably why they're doing the whole thing with internet only. But Linux also gives you a whole bunch of programs, what well, usually with the Linux operating system. So this is going to be an interesting operating system to come out. What else do you have to say about this? Uh, I, I don't. I don't really know. I mean, it's, it's a definitely an interesting operating system, but well, the um, when I was doing my research, uh, the what did they put out? The uh, Android, Android operating system. Uh, Google put out an Android operating system meant for cell phones, and it was only had again the internet, but it had, was using Firefox. So what this one's using is not. But this was before the Google Chrome uh, Windows web, browser web, came web out. Browser. Yeah, web browser came out. So um, now that the web browser's out, they will probably be using the uh, Google Chrome web browser. web browser. But they may also be using other web browsers, such as Firefox and what else is there? Uh, Acer. Acer. And yeah, there's a whole bunch of them out there. They could be using any number of uh, web browsers. Yeah. What else? That's it? Yeah. Are you sure? I, I, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Um, so basically, the the basically Google Chrome is basically primitive. It's going to be very primitive from what we hear. And well, this is what we've read on the blog, the official blog of Google of the Google Chrome OS. So maybe it might head off. But again, I don't urge anyone to go out and buy the product right away because, as you know, any product you just the first time it goes out in the market, it's got bugs. Yeah, just like I, uh, yeah, just like the iPhone. The iPhone the came iPhone, out first time. Anything, it had bugs. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Windows. Windows had bugs. Yeah, yeah. DOS yeah. three one. Horrible. Yeah, yeah. The, it's always going to have bugs, and it can always be increased. So see what happens, and then look into it. Look into it before you just go out and jump on it. Or even try like if they come out with like a demo version, even try those. Yeah, the, yeah. The demo version probably would be better. I wish they would. Actually, I wish they would. Hmm. If they came out with the demo version, I definitely put it on my computer to see what it was like. 